The Kids Discovery Center is a children's museum, very interactive children's museum, where children of all ages can come and explore different things um, from the world. So for example, um, we had a pop-up exhibit at the Multicultural Arts Center for a couple weeks and there was um, an augmented reality sand table where you can take the sand, you can build it up um, into a mountain and there is a projector that would project the topography. So if it's a mountain, it'll project that. If you dig a hole, the projector will recognize that um, it's a hole and I should fill it with water. So um, it'll project blue um, and fill that hole up. And then you can you know, dig a stream, dig a river, and it'll automatically project um, water that flows through the river that you create. So um, it gives families an opportunity to learn different things that they might not um, have access to and it um, builds a relationship between uh, family members. So um, it's a great um, space for families to come and learn. We also had a pop-up exhibit at the Merced County Library where um, the families came and we had a little cafe. You saw uh, children who are complete strangers and they come together and they operate a small cafe. They take orders from their parents they deliver the food, they say please and thank you, they share, um, and kids have a great time. They don't recognize that they're learning, they're learning social skills, they're learning um, sentences maybe, how to speak to strangers, make new friends. Um, we also had a green screen where children can dress up as an astronaut and go to Mars, go to the moon. Um, so different things like that. We also had a virtual reality uh, experience that uh, families of all ages can participate in. Um, at the Multicultural Arts Center for the two weeks, we had over 900 visits. More than 450 were children. And then at the County Library, we had more than 1,700 visits. Over 1,000 um, young people um, came to the exhibit. The great thing about have, having these exhibits in the library was that they could take that curiosity that was piqued and come upstairs and find books and check out books and material to continue that curiosity and that learning experience into their home environment. So what we thought of is create a space where families can actually learn together, where kids can play with exciting, interesting exhibits and they can learn about culture and earth and science and everything, agriculture. So what we're trying to do is create a permanent space where kids and their parents and their grandparents and their aunts and uncles and friends can play together and discover the world as we know it. So this is one of the new exhibits that we've been developing for the Kids Discovery Station with the purpose of engaging kids into the world of computer programming and coding. And uh, the way it works is just an ordinary traffic light, but it can be controlled through code. So it's like a modern day smart device. And uh, when kids approach it, it'll be turned off just like that. And we'll just give them some hints that they can type in the command red, red on or red off. So if, if someone was to do it, they would just type the command like that on, on the keyboard red on and then the light turns on and then they can do the same thing with off turns off green on yellow on so it, it doesn't even have to be realistic kids can use their imagination to to, to um, create whatever they want and then just off, uh, and then I can just, again with code, turn everything off. So once they get comfortable with this, we can take them up to the next level where they can actually string multiple commands like that together and, and, and create a, a little script. So they can, for example, turn the red light on and then wait five seconds and then turn it off 
and then at that point the green light should turn on again for five seconds green off to add to that we can say yellow should be on for one second and then yellow should be off so now it will go between green red and yellow and then again green red yellow so at this point um, with very few lines of code and very easy to understand framework we have a fully functioning traffic light which works exactly as it does in the real world and all the coding concepts that are relevant for even university level classes can be covered with just this basic example. Since we believe coding skills are going to be crucial for tomorrow's um, workplace, this is a way in which um, we're trying to work towards that. Like with all the other exhibits that we have at the Kids Discovery Station, um, this one is, is also an example of learning by doing or, or learning by playing. The suggestion box was overflowing with one suggestion in particular. It was, please, please make this permanent. We love it so much, we would like to have something like this in the city at all times. So what we're trying to do is to create such a permanent space um, so that we don't just do pop-ups, but um, the families can enjoy it at any time, um, at any place. And it will be a special center where there's going to be a lot of educational activities for kids and for families, where there's going to be uh, kind of uh, interesting family events. There could be movie nights or concerts or um, workshops to learn about child development or to learn just to learn something about arts and culture and, and science uh, or mathematics. Um, so this is this is the idea, and this is what we're trying to bring to Merced. We are our efforts are progressing very fast because of wonderful response from the community. We're currently looking for a location, a permanent location that we could call a home, that could be a permanent space for kids discovery station, and we're really inviting the whole community of Merced and Merced County to get engaged and help us bring this to reality.